Since modularity has become a discussion topic lately, it has got me thinking. While I was digging for some old footage of modularity within the Star Citizen YouTube channel, I found some old footage of the designing of the old Carrick. Now even though it is the old shape of the Carrick, there was a lot to take away from that video. And we'll show you a snippet here in a little while. I bring this topic to the table because it's always been a lot of theory crafting around what the modules could be for the Carrick. And it may very well be that for a while. But this video gives us a very good idea of what we can expect and let our imaginations run wild. So let's watch it and discuss more after. On the bottom here we have three modular pods that can be fitted as science stations, uh, extra fuel tanks, eventually hold cargo, uh, medical, medical stations, and these are uh, pods that detach from the ship. Now I find it very interesting that he mentioned science stations, extra fuel tanks, medical stations, potentially haul cargo, in which it does now. Just not very well, obviously. And as we know, the pods detach from the ship. So with that information, we can assume that this will blow a lot of ships out of the water, if they were intact, obviously. To be able to be used as fuel tanks, one could only imagine the distance you could go with this ship, right? You know, like this, that would take it into capital ship territory in terms of distance that you can travel. And that would be incredible. It would ultimately be the home away from home. Now I know a lot of people may feel stuffy in such a ship for such a long time, but it just goes to show how capable this ship may be. Now with the mention of science stations, now, you know, with the capabilities that we could have with this, it would make this ship a mini endeavor. Most likely not, but it would create some really cool experiences and where people could take this ship being that it is an advanced computer to map jump points. I don't know if a lot of you knew that, but there's a lot of stuff going in the background with the character to help it uh, do advanced mapping of jump points. Now being that a science module could have many uses, maybe it could help the ship better be more efficient and effectively map routes or utilize data from a databank off of a ship, something like an MSR. Now moving on to the next module, they mentioned it could be a medical station. Now could you use the medical station with the science station and synthesize drugs? Or could you have more medical beds making it more effective in combat when people get injured? Now the possibilities are infinite. And even though they mention these modules, it could be just an example. But it gives you fuel for thought on what could actually be done with the Carrick and potentially give us an idea of what we could expect in the future. I know a lot of people will have a lot to say in the comments, and that's cool. I just like to find information and learn more about the ships we love. Now this is awesome, it gives us a new perspective and possibly new conversations to the table. For what we could do in the future with this ship, so you know, hopefully with modularity being in the works right now, this could ultimately fast track the ships that we love with modularity. That would be pretty interesting especially having science modules work in unison with some exploration drone pods that the Carrick has. There's a lot about these modules in particular that would work really well with the Carrick. So on top of how the Carrick is a dedicated exploration ship and I would say borderline capital there's a lot of potential of where these modules could go and honestly the ship could even pull off research pods because it would be a massive benefit to have that and a science station where you could use the raw data from data banks from the Mercury Star Runner and the Herald. It could be used as a battle hub within battles with all the info, all the data and without having to get anywhere near the action. Now a lot of theories have been made up about the Carrick and with parts of the Carrick, you know, along with the canopy on the bridge, it's something that like you would see in Cowboy Bebop is seen here. So in the front here we have a full glass canopy, uh, inside is a double decker bridge and the idea of this canopy is to provide minimal obstruction of your view in space. So basically when you're the pilot in here or you're in the uh, mapping suite and you are looking through the front windows, you know, you have a very small frame that kind of tapers out very thin so it's not blocking your view of what is going on out in outer space and you're kind of feel like you're floating there and you're actually not really in the ship. You're, you're the, the whole idea is to feel like you're just kind of in space and ex experiencing that. But with the glass canopy, we also want to provide protection 
So um, there's this garage door type shield that rolls out down tracks and covers up the majority of the glass. So if you're flying through a comet field or you're under attack, uh, you have this extra armor that will come down and provide another layer of protection. This is going to be half the ship they're going to say it is and the ship that we have seen. I'm proud to be the owner of a Carrick in its current state and in its future state and I'm happy to call the Carrick home. So let us know all your thoughts down in the comments because it's very interesting and it's a very interesting topic to touch on. It could be completely hypothetical and they're just pure examples but they could take us so much further with this ship. You could also look at the Endeavour modules and gather somewhat of an idea of what modules could expect for the Carrick or what you could really do and what you could really work well with within the ship. Now whatever the modules are, I hope that the teams bringing them to us really think about what could work well with this ship. Now as I've stated, the modules you heard are most likely just examples but as I said, it would be fantastic to see what they could pitch us if they would ever do something about this. So on that note, let us know your thoughts down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.